me, Cynthia, and welcome back to my videos. Today we're going to be setting up my Christmas tree. But before we do that, I want to show you two things. One is Twizzle's hilarious hiding spot, and two is our marble track that I just built this morning. And also I have a brand new Christmas earring, super cute. So I'm just going to show you the marbles right now because it's right next to me. Okay, so this is the marble track. And I'm not sure if you can see all the parts of it. Yeah, that's better. So this is the star, and over here is the end. So I have three. Oh my gosh. Three insanely cute balls. These two are Christmas colors. So let's just get them to start. Three. And we're going to be having a race. Comment down below which ball you think will reach the end first now. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, let's start. Yep, guys. It was the... Actually, you know what? I forgot. Oh my goosh. Okay, let's try this again. Three, two, one. It was green ball, people, and the red ball kind of got stuck over here. So he's going to have to deal with that. So the green ball won, and now we're going to be going over to see Twizzle's hilarious hiding spot. It is absolutely insane. So here's our TV. And here's our little play thing. If we look... Super duper close in there, we see a shield. I'm not sure if you can tell, but that is a shield. And so if we open the lid, actually before we open the lid, let's take a look at this side. Uh, take a look at this side. There is the back of Twizzle's head. So now we can take a look out here and I'm feeling if I, actually, you know what, that's not the case. So there's Twizzle. So, that was a pretty good hiding spot. I saw her when I, at about 10, 20, when I was doing gymnastics, I was doing T-balance, and the face was like right there, and then like, you know. But now, let's get to setting up the Christmas tree. Hi uh, guys, so I have a lovely Christmas tree over here. It's still in the case. And so... The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to need to set it up. Because this takes me a long time to set it up and filming it on camera would take forever. Um, we're not gonna just, we're gonna do it off camera, but we're, I'm going to carry it out first. So, actually let's turn this back over here. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff. We can put that just over here. And we have our stocking, guys, that I can actually wear. That doesn't make sense, but like, and our star. Okay. One of our decorations just fell off. Okay. Now we have even more stuff to unpack. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Here's the smallest one. This is an A, I believe. Which is a really light. This is the base. And we have, yep, this is piece C. Yeah, I can't carry this out on my own. So I'll be back once we get this tree built. Guys, our Christmas tree is all done. We've got our star up there. And 
and we've got everything done. But now we just need to put on the decorations. But before we put them on, I have some decorations that need a bit of setting up. So we're going to be taking a look at those ones first. I just need to locate them. Because we have a lot of decorations. Uh -huh, we found them. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. These are the decorations that we need to deal with most. Like not everything in this bag. But most of the decorations in here like this need a lot of preparation. So how to use this is they have holes in them. Don't judge us. You have to make them up like this, and then we have these. Then I believe you have to stick this in. Many years of Christmas doing this. I haven't done it all that often. Like that, I guess. Like that. And we need the bottom to be perfect, too. Now that's one done. Couple more to go. This one has a big rip. So that's a bit of a problem. I think we only have three, actually. I didn't know that. Okay. Let's slide the bottom in. And... this one all ready to go and this last one probably has the least amount of holes but it's the least pr uh, take that back it has the most holes properly but I don't really mind that because it's not as pretty as the other ones but that's okay so we got to make sure our bottoms work out that kind of sounds a bit weird saying that, but you know, gotta say what you gotta say. And I believe that's it. Yes, it is. And these bulbs, we normally hang over around the, these more pressing areas because they're the areas that people see. We want them to look the best. So be hanging this one over here and i might go off camera oh yeah i have gone off camera but that's fine i'm just hanging this like that and i'm actually gonna move this one a bit to the side actually gonna move it up a bit so you can see what i'm doing move this a bit to the side uh, right here and so we can have a bit of room to place this one over here. These two are very close, actually. Oh, oh, boo. This string got tangled. You gotta be kidding me, right? Okay. I believe we can go over here. Yes. Now that looks very merry. And now we got this on. I think these are all of the bulbs that we have. Not really sure. Oh yes, here's a bulb that fell off. I'm gonna stick that on too. And thank. And these are my woolly slippers. They are really cozy. And so yeah. Just thought I'd mention, you know, it's Christmas. And so, I'm just going, oh yes, here's my favorite Christmassy thing. <laughs> ah, I think that should be pretty good. Christmassy. Anyways, we also have this Chinese New Year one that I really like. We have this Christmas one. 
And we have this gingerbread candy one. And we have this just throwy random one. Oh, and we also have this pink reindeer one. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a reindeer on there. Okay. And here is my very favorite bulb. It's the one that I made in class last year. Grade four. And we also have some other Christmas baubles in here. Okay. Okay. Like, like these and stuff. Christmas baubles. And I'm going to dig deeper in my um, bags because I feel like I'm always, because of, you know, I'm just going to dig deeper and then I'm going to figure out what to put on first. So, yep, I'll be back. All right, guys, I did a bit of digging and I found out that we had way more of these Christmas tiny baubles than I thought. So I'm going to go around the Christmas tree setting those up and I already have a chair ready for this. So let's just get started. Officially about halfway done. So I'm just going to keep doing this off camera. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, right, guys, I finished setting up the tiny Christmas baubles on our Christmas tree, and I think it looks a lot better now. And let's pull this down a bit. Let's see. Let's go. Ah, 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 what's the Christmas spirit? Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Messed up the last one. But anyways, my mom helped out a bit. So now I know our, what our next step is. Our next step is to set up these big Christmas baubles and yeah, I'm going to be setting those up and that's and then yeah I'm going to be setting those up and it's going to be great good, good, great no, but whatever let's set these up now these ones I don't have much so I'm just going to regular intervals, ups and downs, and everything like that. And these ones are a bit hard to put on too. That's, that's hardly the point. So I'm going to put them up now. And I never really had a very proper way of setting up the Christmas tree. This did it pretty much randomly, but I always had a main like list to follow. And that list is kind of like the one I'm doing now. Most of the time it's like this, but some of the time, you know, I just go with whatever the flow is telling me to do. And yeah, so. Mm -hmm. um, 
here, I think. And, and I'm going to set this one up right here because it is my personal creation. That one right here. This one, I don't know how to point to it, but like that one right there, where I'm kind of trying to point to. Stop that way. So, that's one batch. And I have another batch of totally random objects. Totally random objects, guys. Totally random. Okay, this over here. Totally random objects. Objects. Like. This. Gonna make it higher now. Objects like this. Objects like this. Objects like this. Yeah, it's really, really random. And objects like real chocolate. Ooh, and we also have this. The hook is over here. I wonder if Twizzle can wear this. I'm going to try this on her later. And let's see. We have some of these candy cane disassembly. Yeah, super duper good. Since these are really scattered objects, I'm going to do this off camera because this is going to need a bit of planning to see what looks good where. And I got candy cane all over me. And what does not look where look good where and i also have to wash my hands so i'll be back when i'm done okay we finished setting up the random stuff that one isn't fully placed because it didn't have like a hook or anything but oh well now we're going to be putting on these like the wrappings i suppose you could say this one I'm going to put on last because it's kind of see-through. And this one I'm going to be putting on very, at the very, very end. But first, I think I'm going to get rid of this one because it's not very Christmassy. And, you know, it's better to have the more Christmassy ones to the very, very end. So I'm going to start this one now right here. And actually, I'm going to start at the bottom for this. Let's see. Yeah, right here. This, these ones aren't the longest Christmas wreaths you could find. But, you know, it's fine. And let's just keep going. Okay, and now let's grab this one. Uh huh. Where did that end? I think it ended somewhere. Oh, um, gosh. Okay. 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 Oh, 
going to hold it here, but to make it a bit more stable. Okay, and our very last one. Take a look at our Christmas tree so far. Pretty good, I would say. Move it down a bit. Move it up a bit. Okay, pretty good, I would say. Now let's move on to this one. This one's pretty short. I'm just gonna unwrap it all first. Okay, okay. So I'm going to start somewhere back here. I'm going to be off camera for quite a bit, but that's okay. Okay, let's see. There we go. Let's get this Christmas spirit up. Get this Christmas spirit up. Get this Christmas spirit up. What I like about this wrapping paper is that it really sticks to the Christmas tree. And trust me guys, if you like wrapping paper that sticks to the Christmas tree. Fa la 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 la! Finally, the last one. Okay, I'm gonna start back here with Whale. Because I think it's gonna be pretty good to start in the back. So it doesn't have to be the kind of bit cutting off the front. And this one is one that you could actually call long. Like, not super long, but longer than most of the last. I'm snap that into paper paper cap. Super cute. Okay. Okay, now we're pretty much done except for the fact that we need lights on our Christmas tree. And our stockings are gonna be last. This, these lights are gonna take a bit of time to set up. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna do it off camera, but I'll be back once I'm done. I'm done! And this is our Christmas tree, and now, these bobble ones, um, they need batteries, and we haven't procured them yet. But I'm going to turn off all of the lights in our facility and then I'm going to be turning on these lights. Might be a bit hard to see. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun. Exactly, so here is our Christmas tree. It's always been this messy, don't worry. It's not just <clears throat> that's made it messy. So, that's our Christmas tree, and yeah. Now we're going to hang up these two stockings. This one says, I have been very, very good, and this one just says really pretty much nothing. So I'm gonna pull you over, over here. So this is where I normally put on all my stockings. Uh -huh, I'm gonna put this shorter one over here. Very, very good. And I'm going to be putting the longer one over. Yeah, my click and move is really cool. Okay, so this is what the stockings look like. And this is pretty much how our Christmas tree looks like every year. I'm gonna give you a 
preview of it once again. Okay. So, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.